I'm good, thanks. More to the point, how are you? I'm, I'm actually looking at the tracker to see where you are, and I can hear you're in quite light winds, but it looks like on the tracker you're in quite light winds. What's going on? Yeah, oh, it's just a, it's a nightmare just trying to get out up into the trades. Um, just, I came out of the top of the semi-permanent front yesterday into sort of a mix of just, I mean, pretty much like the doldrums, loads of cloud, breeze in different directions, super light airs, had a really difficult night. And today I've had breeze all day. Um, and I think hopefully the, we might connect with the first sort of air from the, from the high pressure out to the west overnight tonight. But right. um yeah, it's fairly torturous at the moment. I've used, I've used the term well. I've been at the mast today, so. Wow. Well, you're doing a great job. Um, it's it's been a, a riveting to follow. It. I I, I the, when you change the rudder, I I I take my hat off to you as I've, I've tried to do that in the Volvo with the whole race team as part of our pre-race safety, and and we came closer to putting it through the bottom of the boat than actually getting it where it was supposed to be. So um, I don't know how you did that. I'm not sure you knew, knew exactly how you managed to do it, but uh, um, that must have been amazing. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a good, we, had a good, we had a good system. We had all the, all the bits to play, and I had practised it uh, in the dock. Um, but, yeah, I sort of I started it, and, and once I started, it, there was just no way around it. It had to go right, so... Yes, I'm still not 100% sure <laughs> how I managed it. Brilliant. I won't tell you my story about sailing up the coast of uh, South America. I got stuck in no wind for about four days and pretty much ran out of food. So I think whatever happens to do to you, you're making better progress than we did that year. And uh, looks like, like you say, you'll be on port tack soon and, and, and away in the, in the easterlies, yeah? Sorry, on starboard tack. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. It's, uh, I think this, it, in, I, I think when, when I came around Cape Horn, I was still, I had a leak in the rubber bearing. I was taking in a lot of water into the back of the boat, like loads. It was affecting the handling and and I was really quite worried about it. And so after the Falklands, I I, um, I jibed and I laminated a, a solid mast boot um, over, the, over the bottom of the stock. So, you know, to sort that leak out. And I think... I was so focused on that. I just didn't look big picture strategy and and, and I've got myself into a bit of a pickle. So I'm just hoping I can get out and get on because I'm going to wrap up the last three weeks and put them away somewhere. Yeah, and you're not going to do a Bernard Matissier and turn right and carry on all the way to Tahiti. You're enjoying it so much. You're, you're actually going to come back, are you? We're getting a bit concerned that you're having too good a time out there. Well... I mean, it has been, even the bad bits, it's, it's been absolutely incredible, you know, to, to have thought and dreamed about this for my whole life and then get to do it is unbelievable. And, and it's, you know, the, the whole experience, all, all of that, you know, sailing in the ocean, I find just a beautiful thing to do. Um, the things that I've learned, the way that I've been able to push the boats, you know, just every day I get more and more and more from the experience. And, um, you know, there is a part of me that doesn't want to stop because I know I'm a better sailor now than I was when I started. So I'd like to go round to go. Um, but, yeah, I would say I think this, this boat might really lose get upset if I, if I didn't take it back to the shore. And just, just remind me again, how old's the boat and how many times has it already done the race? So it was, it was officially launched in 1999 for the wow. 2000 Bond Day for Stan. Um, wow. Only he, re he retired at the Cape Verde. So he standed two around the loans in it. It's done the Barcelona race. It did 2016 Bond Day Globe. So this is its fifth um, circumnavigation. You better keep going then and bring it back. It must be. What sort of condition are you in? The boat in the boat yourself. What 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 state are you in? Are you comfortable? You're going to get through the next three three weeks, two weeks, whatever it is. Yes, I mean I have. I've been really. The boat was really well prepared. Joff, Joff Brown just did an awesome job on it before the start, and and you know because I've got a lot of experience of, of running my own boats. 
um, I'm sort of fairly good at seeing problems before they start. Um, so I've been incredibly proactive on the maintenance and just been, you know, repairing and tweaking stuff all the way along. Um, and I think, you know, the last three weeks, things got a little bit on top of me, but it, in the last couple of days, I've sort of put them back again. And I'm, I'm feeling, you know, we're, we're, we're not quite hundred percent, but you know, I think the boat is, is strong and I'm still confident to push it. And that's the main thing. Yeah. And sales, the sale, you've got all your sales still? Yeah. The sales, touch wood, are awesome. I have uh i i put a tiny hole in the main um one of the reefs filled up with water and the lazy jack broke and it chafed through so i put a tiny hole in the main which attached um two small holes in the kite uh which are really low down in the foot so so not an issue at all and um other than that you know everything's good the leeches are all good they're they're looking fabulous and i Yesterday, I because I use my J2 a lot for the offwind reaching in the Southern Ocean. Instead of a, a third offwind sail, I, I took another J2. So I just put a brand new J2 up yesterday uh, for all of those upwind miles through the trade. Brilliant. Well, look, we're, we're, we're super proud of you. You've, um, I think you... You've you've wrung every ounce of speed out of that boat. I think you you surprised a lot of people with your performance in terms of racing, uh, the way you head down the Atlantic, and uh, everyone's rooting for you. You've got you clearly got a couple of boats you're racing very closely with. I'm sure you'll be able to find a way of picking them off on the way home. Look, Pip, it's great to speak to you. I'm um, I'm really conscious of I've had already ten minutes of your time. I'm sure you've got much better things to do than uh, than talk to me. Uh, best of luck with the trip home. Watch out for those oil rigs off the coast of Brazil. You probably saw some on your way down. Look out for them. And uh, look, we're wishing you the very best of luck from everybody at the RWA, and, and in fact, everybody within British Sailing. So um, uh, you've given us a lot of pleasure, and uh, we're wishing you all the best for the rest of your trip. Thank you. That's brilliant. Thank you.